the first shipment is finally here. I just want to thank so many parties that came together and make this possible. Of course, starting EDB, MOH, and then of course, the Changi community from Changi Airport, our integrated um, um, logistic providers, um, various companies, sets, got together and the first shipment arrived safely. We are ready to do this and a lot of preparation work has gone in um, to make this as smooth as possible. Take for example our integrated service providers, DHL, UPS, FedEx, they have either put in place quite um, a lot of resources or even situated their regional HQ in Singapore. Our staff, our logistic companies, they've all been trained up to the WHO standards to be able to handle all these cargoes safely. In terms of capacity, we have uh, quite a huge capacity, more than adequate to handle temperature controlled cargo. For example, next year, the estimated cargo movement for vaccines is about 65,000 tons worldwide. And last year alone for temperature controlled cargo sets handled 300,000 tons. So I think we have more than adequate. Plus months ago, various parties in the Changi ecosystem got together. They started a task force, start to look at all the challenges that may arise, what are the bottlenecks, and start to resolve them even way before the vaccines were, were produced. So one, one example was when they got to know that the Pfizer vaccine require minus 70 degrees Celsius uh, of storage, they started to look at dry ice production. So today, sets can produce four tons of dry ice every day. Problem by problem, they have resolved. And so today, is a, they did trial runs and today the first shipment arrived safely. So the work starts from now. So just want to thank everybody for all their hard work uh, all these months.